Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at the G-Chick OnLap 1306H. This is a 13.3 inch portable monitor that uses a modern USB Type-C port and can be used to extend your workspace for a laptop such as a Mac or Windows device or even a smartphone such as a Samsung Galaxy phone if you want to use DeX mode. It is a portable monitor that measures only 7 millimeters thick which makes it one of the most uh, thin as well as portable designs currently on the market. Now G-Chick is a type Taiwanese manufacturer that were one of the first companies to make portable monitors many years ago, so they do have lots of experience. With that being said, this is definitely on the slightly higher side in terms of price. Over the past few months, there have been a number of more generic brands popping up on Amazon and eBay, which are from Shenzhen, China. They don't have as high quality or perhaps a reputation for making monitors, but they can typically sell for $50 to $100 less. So G-Chick is hoping that their brand name as well as perhaps their quality of the display is going to justify that slightly higher price. So here are the technical specifications. It is an IPS screen that has a 170 degree viewing angle, which is good. It has both an HDMI and a Type-C port for video input. One silver lining is they do give you more accessories as part of the price. You get a protective sleeve. In addition, there is an existing hard shell case which is attached onto the display already. So there's two layers of casing for protection. Aside from the user manual, we have a slew of different adapters, including a power brick if you don't want to use a power bank, for example, when on the road. Here we have a Type-C to Type-C cable, which is used to power the display if you're using the other HDMI port and not using the USB Type-C for video input. We also have a mini HDMI, the full-size HDMI cable that can be used to plug into standard size HDMI devices, like gaming consoles, computers, so on and so forth. Finally, there's a separate box that actually contains another Type-C to Type-C cable. So we have uh, one side which plugs into the monitor, the other side can be plugged into, say, your smartphone or into another computer. But this time around, there's also a second USB port which is used to draw power so that the display can turn on. So this is a combined cable. A closer look at the design, this is in fact extremely slim at only 7 millimeters. And on the right hand side you'll find access to the aforementioned Type-C port, again both for power and also for video. And there's also the aforementioned mini HDMI port. And that's it as far as I.O. is concerned. So I do wish that they maybe had the opportunity to put a second USB Type-C port that would be nice to have. Uh, but alas, it is what it is. On the side there we do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and we also have the navigational keys for changing the display properties things like brightness adjusting the color saturation the volume things like that now the hard shell case is pretty interesting because it's protecting the display when not in use and there are two latches on the top which are actually magnetic and you simply need to pull it up in order to now remove the display from the case by lifting it and from here you can actually pop it the other way around and use this once again to lock it into place so it doesn't fall out so it's a very clever design that allows you to reverse Reverse the screen to protect it and then take it out when you need it. What I will say is that the display itself is constructed primarily out of polycarbonate plastic as opposed to say aluminum or metal, but it still feels pretty solid in terms of the overall construction. One thing to note though is that this is not a touchscreen monitor like a few of the other versions we've seen, so it does not support your finger input. Overall aesthetics are very clean and pretty elegant. With that being said, it's also not the smallest in terms of bezel size we've seen. Even some of the other more generic brand monitors we've been seeing, as you can see here, do have slightly smaller side bezels. Uh, but overall, not too big of a problem. The protective folio case is also interesting because it looks like there's a sleeve that you can flip open from here, but this is an illusion. Um, in fact, you just open it like a book. It's actually held into place using Velcro. And then from here is how you tuck in the display um, on either side, actually. The other side, you can also pop in the cable, some other accessories, and then close it back up. Taking a closer look at the kickstand in action here, as you can see, it is quite stable. And as long as you're on a flat surface, it works pretty well. And the magnet here is held into place really nicely, and you can also adjust it just by changing the angle up and down this metallic strip and here is where the angle kind of stops anywhere beyond this it will not hold the weight of the display so you can adjust it up to this midway point any of these angles will work so an interesting design so as our first demo here we have a samsung galaxy phone connected and again it's entered into the dex mode otherwise again we do have very generous viewing angles thanks to the ips technology being used here so i can tilt it look at various angles and the colors themselves don't look washed out even as i'm moving around as far as the settings are concerned there's the volume controls 
thing to note here is there are no built-in speakers on the monitor, however, although those usually tend to be tinny anyways. Anyways, you can also use the top keys here to control the settings, so things like changing again the brightness of the display, the contrast, whether you want an eco mode, which will dim the screen automatically, change the sharpness, can all be adjusted, things like the blue light effect if you want to use it for breeding purposes for example you can also change the color temperature all right so here we have a quick demo clip we're just using again the phone still but playing back a youtube video and just seeing what the overall effect is like on the monitor so as a whole again colors are very detailed um, even though it's not say a crazy 4k display it still is sufficiently as you can see here detailed for the purposes of both uh, looking at small text uh, images as well as getting some productivity done watching youtube videos it is a great way of expanding the display of your phone. In fact, G-Check advertises that this thing is, again, three to five times larger than most average screens that you have on your phone, so you can uh, be more immersed in the video that you're watching as kind of a companion secondary display, especially if your smartphone supports something like DeX uh, or Continuum. Again, we are tilting the display here and it still looks quite good. Uh, we can actually change, turn all the lights off here and just uh, take a closer look at the panel. And again, very impressive. Otherwise, here we have an example of how web browsing looks if we are taking a look at a website that has uh, lots of text or smaller details. The full HD resolution is still going to be sufficiently sharp when it comes to making out the overall small elements, which is great. So again, this is going to be a great experience both for productivity, again using it as a secondary monitor to display a second app as you multitask or work, uh, as well as for entertainment. If you're using it with a smartphone perhaps, you want to watch larger videos in a more comfortable display when you're traveling, but not exactly at home. So that's been our hands-on review of the G-Chick 1306H. Overall, it's a great performing portable monitor. As for downsides, you are paying a premium for a more established brand, again, 50 to $100 more. So if you are looking for a portable monitor at 13 inches, this is definitely one of the better performing ones on the market, but again, it is at a premium price. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the 13.3-inch G-Chick 1306H.